So in today's video, we are going to be solving several questions on algebra. Now, algebra is one of the major topics you are going to be encountering in your exams. Now, um, with these basic examples, we are going to walk you through the steps of algebra so that you can learn a lot. Now, the first one says, um, expand and simplify each of the following. Um, now, the first one says 2a, okay, so we have um, 2 brackets a minus. 3b minus 2 bracket 3a minus b now main looking at this um, all you need to do is open the bracket and when you're opening the bracket you need to take um, cognizance of uh, the sign so this is 2 times a it's going to give us 2a now we have a minus 2 times 3b is going to give us um, 6b so we have minus 2 times 3a. You have to be careful here. So this is going to be minus 6a. And you have minus 2 times minus b. And it's going to be giving you what? Plus 2b. The reason is because minus is going to multiply minus and it gives you what? Plus. So from here, you can collect like terms. That's um, 2a minus 6a comes forward. Then minus 6b and you have your plus 2b. So 2a minus 6a is going to give us what? Minus 4a and we'll have a minus 6b plus 2b is going to give us a minus 4b. Now from here, you know that minus 4 is common. You can bring up minus 4 and uh, bring um, you factor out a. Then instead of having minus a, you're not going to have what? Plus b. Now look at this. When you multiply minus 4 times a, you get what? Minus 4a. When you multiply minus 4 times plus b, you get what? Minus 4b. So this is our final answer for the first question. Now for question 2, b says um, 2k minus 3 minus k plus 6. Now to solve this, all you need to do is um, 2k. Now this is minus, minus times 3. Just know that this is supposed to be minus 1. But conventionally, we don't write the 1 because it's not um, conventional in mathematics. So minus times 3, you're going to get minus 3. And minus times minus k, you're going to get plus k. And you're going to have what? Plus 6. So here, you collect your like terms. That's 2k plus k minus 3 plus 6. Now this is going to give us what? That's going to give us a 2k plus k will give us 3k and minus 3 plus 6 that's 6 minus 3 is going to give us what plus 3 now you can still factorize 3 out from here and that's going to be 3 into what k plus 1 so that's our final answer for question b now for question c we're going to be solving 2 minus b in brackets and this will be what b minus 3 so here i'm going to do my Two, I'm going to expand this bracket. So this is going to be 2 times b, that's 2b, and then 2 times minus 3, and that's minus 6. Minus b times b will be minus b squared, and we'll have a minus b times minus 3, that will be uh, plus 3b. So from here, you can see I have 2b plus 3b, that's going to give us um, 5b. Uh, minus 6 minus b squared so that's exactly our solution for option c okay so we'll be going to question d and this is 7b minus 2a minus 3 brackets b minus a now in order to solve this question uh, we're going to have um, 7b minus 2a minus 3 times b will be a 3b now minus 3 times minus a is going to give us plus 3a now from here you can see um you collect like terms i prefer bringing my a forward and my b back so this is going to be minus 2a plus 3a then i'll have a um, plus 7b minus 3b always know that the sign that precedes a number that has no sign is positive so this is going to be minus 2a plus 3a or you say 3a minus 2a and that's going to give us a plus 7b minus 3b that's going to give us 4b so um, in this one so e says 
bracket x plus y minus 3x minus 8y. Okay, so here we're going to do 4 times x, that's 4x plus 4 times y is going to give us 4y, that is going to give us minus 3y, and we're going to have um, minus times minus 8y is going to give us plus 8y. So from here, I can collect my like terms, that's 4x minus 3, um, 4x, okay, I think this is supposed to be 3x, okay, so this is 3x. So this is going to be 4x minus 3x plus 4y plus 8y. So from here, I'm going to have um, x plus um, 4y plus 8y is going to give us 12y. So having solved these questions, we are going to be moving to an adv a more advanced questions in algebra. And um, you can see this set of questions. So it's saying factorize each of the following. So there are questions you meet in algebra, then you need to do some level of factorization. But before I go into this, I want to teach you something. Now, in algebra, one of the things you need to learn, it's, um, you always need to know this. It's called difference of two squares. A square minus B square. Because before we solve this, we really need to lay a foundation of, on this. Now, whenever you have any uh, math uh, question like this, a square minus b square. I want you to know that this is the same thing as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Now I want us to do this. Let's do this and see what it's going to give us. a times a is going to give us what? a squared. a times minus b is going to give us minus ab. Plus b times a will give us plus ab. And plus b times minus b is going to give us a minus b squared. So you can see minus ab plus ab is going to cancel out because um, this is minus ab plus ab then here yeah, you still have back your what a squared minus b squared so having not understood this we can comfortably go into these questions and start solving them the first question says 3x squared minus 3 now when you factor 3 out this is the same thing as um, 3 into x squared minus 1 now, I want you to know that whenever you see 1, it's the same thing as 1 squared. So, I can factorize this more into 3 into x squared just minus 1 squared. So, now we have a difference of 2 squared. So, this is going to be 3 into x minus 1, x plus 1. So, here are the factors available. So, with difference of 2 squares, you can pull out more factors now the next question says a v square b minus 9 a b 3 so the first thing you need to know here it's uh this is uh, what's common here a is common a is also common here then a b is common and b is also common here so i'm going to factorize a b out so i'm going to have um v squared minus 9b squared okay so having this this is going to give me this so from here i can see say a b that's equal to a b i'll have um, v squared minus now if you rec uh, record that 9 is what 3 squared so this is going to be 3b all squared now i'll close the bracket now when you look at v squared minus 3b all squared you will see that we have uh, another difference of two squares so this is going to be a b into v minus 3b and v plus 3b so as easy as that you can solve that question Okay, so question C says uh, C says C squared minus B D plus B C minus B D. Okay, in order to solve this type of question, uh, all you just do here it's uh, now this is going to be C squared. You know, minus B D minus B D is going to give us what minus two B D. So you have your plus bc 
so here I'm going to factorize my um, okay so uh, I'll factorize C okay C squared now here B is common so I have minus B now into 2d plus C so that's my final answer because right now I cannot simplify this beyond this level so I'm going to assume that at my final answer now the last question we are going to be solving in this particular one this says s square over 4 minus 9 over y squared now I want you to look at this and think how we're going to solve this when you not look at this you notice this is close to what we call difference of two squares now I'm going to show you that in a second now this is going to be s squared over 4 is what 2 squared minus 9 is what 3 squared over y squared now from here we're going to have x over 2 all squared minus 3 over y all squared now when you remember our difference of two squares this will now be what x over 2 plus 3 over y all multiplied by x over 2 minus 3 over y here are the factors of this equation now as easy as that you can solve more algebraic equations now um now the um, last set of questions we are going to be treating today um in factorization and algebra now this question says um 2x squared minus 18 now this is the same thing as 2x squared minus 3 uh okay 18 it's um okay so this is 18 then i'm going to factorize 2 out so this is going to be 2 into x squared minus 9 and now notice the 9 is going to be what 2 into what x squared minus what 3 squared so from here you can break it down further to be what you have a difference of two squares x plus 3 times x minus 3 now we cannot overemphasize the importance of learning difference of two squares you're going to meet it a lot if you are studying algebra now we have a, a, a problem that says given that a square plus b square is equal to 100 and a b is equal to 20 find the numerical value of a plus b all square now all i need to do here is to evaluate what a plus b all squared is going to give me and you know this is the same thing as a plus b multiplied by a plus b i'm going to expand this to be a squared a times a is a squared plus a times b will give me a b plus b times a will give me a b plus b squared now from here i'm getting this is going to be a squared plus b squared that's a plus b all squared is going to give me a squared plus b squared plus a b plus a b is going to give me what 2 a b now when you compare this you can see we have this to be we have this to be what 100 and then we'll have a b to be what 20 so um to solve a plus b all square is going to be 100 plus 2 times 20 so this is going to be 100 plus 2 times 20 is going to give us uh, 40 and this is going to give us 140 so as easy as that there are several algebra questions you can solve with these little examples if you open your books you will see that algebra is very easy so if this is your first time of coming to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you can get more